Hello and welcome to Bags of Action. This is a five minute review of Wind River from 2017. The film is directed and written by Taylor Sheridan, an actor from Sons of Anarchy, but he's also written some interesting films, including Sicario, Hell or High Water, and he's one of the TV creators of Yellowstone, a new ongoing TV series starring Kevin Costner. This film has quite a strong Marvel Films connection, as it stars Jeremy Renner in the lead, Elizabeth Olsen, and John Benthel. The story follows a veteran hunter who works for the Wildlife Service in Wyoming. When a girl is found murdered, which is a rarity in the area that they live, he contacts the FBI and they send out the nearest agent to investigate the case. The problem is that she's young and ill-prepared and not used to working in such frozen conditions in the middle of Wyoming. Jeremy Rowner plays Corey Lambert, who has strong ties to the local Native American community because his ex-wife is also Native American and the girl who has been found murdered is a Native American from the local community. So he knows her personally and he knows the family involved with this case, which makes it all the more sensitive. Olsen's FBI agent Jane is quite naive and not used to murder investigations, but she's very determined and she does her best working with Corey and also the local police chief, played by Graham Greene, to find out who was responsible for this vicious murder. Because even though there is no obvious signs that the girl has been attacked, she's found in the middle of nowhere with no shoes, miles from any kind of civilization. The film is incredibly atmospheric and it takes time to build the characters, but also the environment, which is harsh and brutal. It's a theme that comes up again and again, because there's something in Corey's past that's coming back to haunt him. This case opens up old wounds for him, and he agrees to help out the naive FBI agent for personal reasons, which he is quick to uncover. There are no soft edges in this film, which matches the brutal and unforgiving landscape. The murder that's being investigated is quite harsh, and as the case evolves, it becomes clear there was a lot more going on than just a missing girl who got lost in the snow. The film is less than two hours, and as the tension builds, it becomes clear that Corey is not the police and he's not the FBI. And he's already said to the family involved that he's working with the police and the FBI because he's a hunter. And that's what he does when he finds those responsible he intends to bring them to justice in his own way. There's something quite haunting and beautiful about this film. Some of the dialogue is incredibly punchy and it really hits you in the gut. There's comments on Native Americans and the way they're treated in society today. There's comments about America as a whole and also its treatment of women. But this isn't a political film. It's a thriller. It's tense. And at less than two hours, it doesn't really lag. The performances in this film are incredible across the board. Whether it's Elizabeth Olsen playing an FBI agent who's doing her best in an incredibly difficult situation. But you can see that she hasn't been numbed by the job. She really tries to connect with the families and you can see that she has empathy for their situation. And there again, we're exposed to the rawness of the loss that the parents are feeling. Jeremy Renner's character, Corey doesn't say a lot, but when he does, it's always full of meaning and it's also very powerful. Graham Greene, playing Ben, is understandably frustrated by the situation. He's only got a few deputies, but basically he's, he's looking after an area that's enormous to cover and it isn't always easy to do his job. It's been a while since I've watched this film and it's something that stuck with me, not just because of the way it looks, but, and the tone of the film and the story, but there's something more to it. There's something that makes me want to go back and watch it. Not because I'll unravel some other part of the story that I missed the first time around, but because it's something quite unique. A modern day thriller where you feel like you're observing real people in a very difficult situation. That's both a testament to the script, but also the actors and their performance. I had a couple minor quibbles about this film, but having spent some time thinking about it before I came to do this review, they're not anything that's going to affect my score. So I'm actually going to give this 5 out of 5, because there's nothing that I would change about it. It's exciting, it's haunting, it's beautiful, the action's really good, 
It does take time to build, but that's okay. That's in keeping with the tone and the flavour of the film. And there's more to it than it just being a murder mystery. And I can see why the director and writer is getting so much critical acclaim, and also why Jeremy Renner's performance was lauded so much for this role. So, have you seen Wind River? If so, what did you think? Get in touch with us and let us know. You can email us, you can join the Facebook group, you can follow us on Twitter, and of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.